Team career mode on F1 2021. We're at Hungary and I'm going to be rubbish. Apologies in advance. Um, we, I'm not very good around this circuit for some reason on F1 21. I just seem to be absolutely nowhere compared to the to the AI. So practice went terribly wrong. I didn't complete any of my objectives. Um, qualifying, we didn't even make it past the first corner um, because we spun off and crashed out. So that was that. Um, so I just decided to take some grid penalties because um, some component rather component changes for some grid penalties because why not at this point. <laughs> Mick did a great job, he's eighth. And Antonio Giovinazzi. Mazepin. But we've just been really Max struggling Verstappen. all the way and through, set up wise. Gasly, I don't know. I can't really put my finger on why we're struggling Christian so much Lugar. compared to the AI. Russell, Giotto, um Latifi and Ace. But yeah, we're just five red literally nowhere, so don't expect anything at all in this one. It's going to be rubbish. Um, I'm going to start on the mediums because why not? Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Um, Twelve laps on the mediums. And actually, no. I'll do eleven laps on the mediums. And go from there. We'll start from the back, so it's not really the end of the world. I've got 22 place grid penalty. I'm not sure if I've got 22, it should just be 20. Clutch bite is good, gearbox is responding normally. Make sure to warm up the tyres and brakes, warm the tyres and brakes throughout the lap. So yeah, just hasn't been a good weekend for the car at all. And us, we've just literally been nowhere compared to Shimi. Um, he's doing a great job. Although to be honest with you, he arguably underperformed in qualifying um, compared to where the car actually is. But we'll never know that because I never set a qualifying lap, so I'm honestly not expecting to score even a top 15 I'm not expecting you know we're, we're just really struggling the AI just seems to be so quick through this sequence that we're coming through now they just seem to have so much more grip than us we just don't have any grip we just understeer through here uh, we're rubbish through here we understeer through I better skip to the formation lap otherwise it'll give me a penalty or something for that Don't need a penalty on the way to the grid. Right, let's get on with it. Much better start than last season. No. I'm not doing that, that's stupid. I've got past a few people then. Grand News trying to go up my inside. I'll take chance, sunshine. Come on, Russell, get past Norris. We'll hold each other up, that's fine. Oh, this is going to be free wide. Oh, that was brave. <laughs> Watch this. That was brave. Three wide coming down this straight. Let's ride with Norris, who's right in the middle of us. He's behind us, actually. Man, he's got the best view ever. Ooh. Crikey. How he kept on to that, I don't know.
Stroll and Gasly are having time of their lives. I've crashed. I'm not having the time of my life at the minute. To be honest with you, I'm expecting it for this race. Oh, 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 oh God. Terrible. Okay, so I've accidentally taken Sonoda's position. That definitely wasn't intentional, I'll tell you that right now. So, 15th at the end of lap 1. Doubt I'll stay here. But I'll try. doing what am I doing no, this is this hasn't even been two laps oh, I'm, okay. I'm getting really frustrated here I just I just want it to be over already Come on! I've got no flashbacks left, so if I go off, that's it. I'm not going to restart either. I've just got no grip on these medium tyres. Cross the line 2.1. Behind lunch for it. Behind lunch for it. Let's see where we end up after that. After this lap. Probably haven't lost the position if we keep that up. Green flag, green flag, we're racing again. So we're losing about a second lap. Maybe a touch over that. And it's all coming from sector two and three compared to the AI, that's how slow we are at the minute. Now, admittedly we are on the harder compounds, but it still doesn't bode well for us when we switch to the softs. Caution, caution. 
Oh, that's a. Oh, that's a TPL. The car in front is 3.7 seconds. So far, so good. So Shimi's in the pits, that's early. Mick is in the pits, Mick in the pits. That's very early. The clerk's going onto the hard tyres. Can't explain that one. I've just got to keep my rhythm. crash if I'm not careful. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. We're leading our teammate by 12.0 seconds. Okay, gap ahead is 5.3 seconds. Ah, that's game over. 
Are you all right? Engine off. Engine off. No, oh, I knew that was going to happen. So, for the second consecutive season, we've crashed out of the Hungarian Grand Prix. I just cannot do this track. It's just, no matter what I try, I'm just terrible around here. So, another fan... Mercedes are on... <sighs> what a waste. What a waste of an event that was. So then, it's time to see how she might have finished eighth at least. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship. Hamilton ends up 14th. I think we made contact. So, um, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Often Honestly, it really doesn't matter who driver of the day was. Honest, uh, that was pathetic. That was a really poor race for me. No other way of describing that. It just didn't work out at all. I got into a rhythm, but no. <laughs> I thought, I thought I'd crash out instead. That's more fun. <laughs> oh dear. That means I'm losing in my rivalry with Lando Norris, which is great. <laughs> oh god, I'm getting beat by a Haas and our car is so much quicker. Um, team Acclaim, I'm just getting lower and lower now. You're saying out qualify your rival. I haven't. Out I didn't even out qualify him. I qualified behind him. <laughs> Explain that one. I I, I didn't even qualify. How have I out qualified him? Ah, oh, another glitch in F121 there. Brilliant. <sighs> we're, we're not looking great here this season. You know, we've had a really tough season and there's been too many mistakes and too many issues give Shumi a bit of support with that uh, durability events um Oh, I don't know. Um, what parts of I don't know. I can't remember what parts I've got in development at the minute. I think it's Aero. I've got. Thanks. I know these kinds of decisions can be challenging. So I'll go chassis. I think. Although now my look will be the other way around. Now let's have a look. Oh, it's neither. Perfect. I've got an email. Apparently. Get rid of that. So, what can we upgrade then? I think we should... Have a look. Maybe upgrading one of the resource points. So... Actually, no, then again, even the... Resort points, we're, we're gaining them quite quickly. I'm going to improve Shumi's. I'm going to go with speed. Get his, get his speed increase there, that'll give him a help and boost. Um, what about aerodynamics? What we, can we do? Um, I was trying to boost our engine, but I honestly don't. That's after Monza. Realistically, we need it before then. We want as much power as we possibly can before Monza rolls around. There was an upgrade I saw the other day. That's rush time was like one day less. That's quite a big upgrade, actually. I'm going to do that. I think we're going to have a look at... 
apparently we've got the best aerodynamics in the sport. Doesn't bloody feel like it. I think we should try and rush the halo. It's a part of me that thinks. Well, then again, it's not going to be. It's not going to be ready for spa, regardless. I think we've got all the chassis upgrades now, apart from the ones that need spec free, so we can't touch them. Maybe a big boost then for the engine or something. So, realistically, we want an upgrade that will come in before Spa, even if it's rushed. It's a 45% failure chance. 45%. Thirty percent. I think go. I think we should try and get two upgrades in. So I think if we rush that and we rush, ah, oh, we can't rush that. Okay, we can't do that then. Rush that through as well. Might as well give it a shot. If they come in before Spa, it's going to help us out, but we apparently have the best aerodynamics in the, in the whole grid. I find that shocking. Right, let's have a look at this press interview then with Bill Wuxton. See what he's got to say. He's probably going to ask me, why do I keep crashing out of races all the time? And I'm going to say, I don't know, Will. Thanks so much for the why don't you tell me? You're the F1 interviewer. Let's have a little chat about the team's performance this season. Have a look. That interview clip circulating online Why does this keep coming in? in bad light from an outside. We've seen ex-driver Lucas Weber has been spending um, time with team recently. The recent flooding at the factory must have been a significant setback for your team. How much impact does something like that actually have? Oh yeah, I remember this. I remember this. This was a minor event. Inside your team have described the environment as a pressure cooker with growing concerns about how much pressure your staff are under to hit deadlines. Care to what? comment? As a pressure cooker? What are you talking about? My, I always make sure the employees are well looked after. They're talking rubbish. Now I've heard rumours you're having cash flow issues at the moment. Is this because of overinvestment in drivers and facilities? Or is it something a bit more serious? Um, I battered the chassis department before, so let's help them out a bit. Thanks so much as ever for your time, it's hugely appreciated. Hopefully that'll boost the r morale from the chassis department, and they don't get angry at me. Let's have a look then. Those are some really stupid questions. Why are you asking me about stuff that really doesn't matter? And you've asked me the same interview questions three times about Schumacher clip circulating online. I don't even know what the bloody clip is. Right. Three big upgrades. Will any of them work? That is the question. Hey boss. I think we could better manage our time by organising Oh shut up Polly. Head to the activity screen to see what we have available. Let's do that for the team and let's do some driver filming. Marketing department wants this. To step in and make an executive decision here. Um. No, we just just well. got to accept it. Not sure what's going on there. Why is everyone barring us? What have we done? Will they come in? I know we were expecting Ooh, some new development two of them came in though. Two of them came in, that's a good sign. That's very good. So the Y250 Vortex Generator came in. Now that... Where is it? That's good news. Because that puts us right at the top of the food chain for 
aerodynamics, which I'm hoping will work ahead of Singapore, but we need chassis upgrades to Singapore. Cockpit weight reduction to come in. Any things we can do now are related to the brakes, um, so that's what we've got to try and work on with that. Good news, that's where it failed. So we need to try and get that boosted. Standard will get us in for September the 2nd. So if we wait until after the Belgian Grand Prix, we should be able to redevelop that. Because we've dropped quite far down in the engine game. We're sick for now. We need to have a look at that. Oh dear. But looking okay in terms of our progress. We'll see how we get on though. Because we have Spa next. Um, but yeah, what a miserable event we had at Hungary. What a waste of time. Um, but I do appreciate you tuning in as always. Give us a follow if you haven't done so already. Really would appreciate that. But wherever you might be in the big wide world. Have a good one and see you soon.